the image of God, the image of the man that is good. That is what we want to project in our society, in our community, in our communion, in our coming together. The image of a good man, the image of God. Now we've already seen these Christian preachers calling themselves father, telling our children that we are sinners, telling our children that they are sinners, that they are bad people, and that they must believe in Jesus, and that they must eat Jesus' flesh and drink his blood to partake in the salvation and to be saved from death and being burned forever. We know their horror games, their mind games, their lies and their mental manipulation. But what's this all about? Forcing us against our nature. It's very simple. It is in the image of God that they project. An image of God who sacrifices his own son. See, it's ridiculous, isn't it? We are made in the image of God. We are made in the image of God. And our nature is to sacrifice ourselves for our sons, to save our children, to save our children from this tyranny. This is a tyranny, a mental tyranny. So the idea is that, it, you see, our nature is to sacrifice ourselves to save our sons. But the tyranny wants us to sacrifice our sons to save them in their wars, to sacrifice our sons, to be given some ironmongery and told that they are heroes against our nature, the image of God. If we're having an image of God taught, we must have a consensus, an agreement on that image of God. A God who sacrifices his own son is not my nature. A God who will accept a blood sacrifice for sin is not my nature. So they lie. They have a false image of God and the intent, the evil intent, is to make us sacrifice our sons to maintain their tyranny. That's why... We have fascists ruling the Christian church. The last pope was a fascist. The present, a German fascist. The present pope is an Italian fascist. We have the Queen of England from a fascist German family telling us to sacrifice our sons to save their tyranny. So they have an, an agenda. You know, to groom our children, to take them away from us, to tell them that they are bad people and they must, you know, let Jesus in and live for Jesus and then sacrifice themselves and we must be proud of them. They must sacrifice themselves for their country. We must sacrifice ourselves for humanity. And this Christian tyranny on our minds of horrific crucifixion and rising from the dead and all the rest of the horror bullshit has got to be stopped. We must protect our children's minds from this evil mental mind game manipulation just to make us sacrifice our sons to be heroes. Let them be heroes for humanity working class heroes let's have some justice let's take from where there is too much and give to where there is too little